Hi there, welcome back. Today I will walk you through how to create your first product for your e-commerce website. By the end of this video, you will be able to create your simple product and your variable product. Also, understanding how to upload your product base and set the printing size for it. Okay, let's get started. Before you can create any product, you will need to have your own product base, right? So first of all, I will show you how. Under product base, click on add new product base. As you can see here, we have four tabs. Details, designs, variations, and attribute. So on the first tab, give it the name. I'm, I will make it t-shirt. Okay, perfect. In the design tab, Scrolling down and hit the select product image. As you can see here, we have two options. One is upload new image. So you can easily make your product base in Photoshop or Illustrator or other software and then export it as PNG, JPG or SVG format. Otherwise, you can use our Lumis samples so in this storage we have a, a lot of pre-made product base if you have a similar product you can choose over here very easy right so i will choose this one so this is the front of the shirt i will add another section which is the back it does say like so now we have a both front and back so as you can see, this is design area. You can easily drag to move to set the design area for your product base. This is the area where you allow your customer to put their design, their clip arts and template on your product base. You can edit the radius zones like this and then set the size for printing. You have a lot of options over here. You can also custom this area. Like you can put your size values and size unit. It's available in centimeters, inch, and pixel. In the back of this shirt, you can set a different design area for it as well. Just focus on a similar step that I did in the front. Only separately, you can choose a different option. Okay, now let's focus on the attributes. For the people who don't understand attribute, it just understand it simply, it's just an option, right? Like it depends on your products. For example, my product will available in two color, which is red and black, and it will available in two size, which is large and mediums. So I will go ahead to click on add new attribute. The first attribute will be color. The attribute tag, I will select product colors and then add new colors. As you can see on the left hand side of your screen, there's uh, many different colors. Let's find your colors or easier you can drag in the color pane, see which color is available in your product and then add to list. As I mentioned, my product is available in two colors. So I will choose red and black and then hit the selection. You can also give it the separate price. For example, if my customer chose the red product, they will have to pay extra $10. Okay, so we're done with the first attribute. Let's create the new one. The new one will be sign. For the attribute tag, I will choose the drop down. So I click on add option. The third option will be large. And then mediums. You can give it the price as well. After you finish, it's on save product. Okay, so now your product base has been saved. Let's move on to create your first product. So let's hit on the product and then add news. 
there are a few different products and I want to start with the simple products. So what is simple product is, is the product with only one option. Just simple like its name, right? Simply I will type my product names. In this field, I will type command t-shirt. And then I'm scrolling down to the product data section. So simply I chose the simple product from the product type drop downs option. And then I set the regular price for it and make it 100. And now uh, you can give a sale price well and make it 40. And then you hit the Lumis configuration. So this section is very important as well. So we have the high card button, make it yes. If you want to hide the, the up to card button in your product detail page. And then allow customize. Making sure you have to select this one at yes. If you want your user can change or customize the design before they check out, right? And then you hit the select product base. I'm pretty sure we end the second page. We don't select the product. So this is the product page that we just made earlier. You can still edit the product base by hitting this one. You don't have to go Lumis again. Okay, let's uh, set the product image for this one. You can set the product image. And then publish. Let's see our product. Okay, this is our product. The regular price 100, the sale price 40, and then you hit customize. Here, see, we set for two color, one is red. You have to pay 10 or more. The base price 40, right? And then if they choose the red, they have to pay 50, 10 dollar each. Year. And you can set the size well, large or mediums. Then put the template or clip art on it the back at the front okay so this is our first product and it looks beautiful now we're going to create another beautiful product which is a variable product and you just focus on the same method that I did with the simple right so under product you click on add new fill in your product name and make it men's and then in the product data section on the drop down you select variable product so this product will be a little bit different so you have to create the attribute first as I explained earlier so it's just an option so it can be size, genders or colors okay so let's go ahead to create attribute so for this product I will create two attributes the first one will be size so my hoodies is available in two size, which is a large and mediums. Making sure you put a check mark on visible on the product page and use for variations. And then hit save. I will go ahead to add another attribute, which is colors. So my product is available in two color, which is yellow and red. Hit save attribute as well. Okay, and then I click on variations. From the drop down, I hit on create variations from my own attribute and hit goals. Okay. Perfect, we have a four variation added. As you can see here, we have four different variations. The product in large size, yellow, large, red, medium, yellow, and medium, red. So let's go ahead to click on expand. So for each particular variation, you have to give it the image and the price. So I will set the regular price for all of my variations by hitting this one and make it 100 and click OK. Perfect, now all of the variations price is 100. Now let's set the product image of this one. 
this one in the, in the large size and geo colors, right? Let's go ahead to click on Lumens configuration. So for this product, I will use the Lumis sample, the pre-made product base. I will choose the front first. You can custom the um, design here as well. You can put the design template over here. This one. Let's put it over here. Okay. Make it big or small, depending on your choices. And in the back, set the product base. This one. Okay. For the colors, the color is the yellow, right? The choice on the on the color paint. Okay, perfect. After you finish it, just apply for own variation. The reason why you do it, because for the next variation, you don't have to you don't have to select the product image. The only thing you need to change is just the colors. Because this one in red, so I just change the colors very easy, right? If you change the front colors, the back will automatically change as well. Okay, let's set the product image. After you finish on variations, hit on save change. And then upload this product image. After that, you click on update or publish. And then click to view your product. Here we go, we have the main hoodies online appear on your store. And whenever you choose the different option, it will show different product image as you upload on the setting, right? If you wonder why the price is not changed, because I set the regular price for all of the variations at the hundreds. That's why the price not changed. You can give it individual price as well. After your customer choice the option, they can hit on customize. And in here, your customer can yeah. they can design and then they can check out with this product. Okay, that's it for today. So today I'll just show you how to create a prior product as the main hoodies and uh, how to create a simple product as the main t-shirts. If you have any questions, just leave on the comment. Uh, our support will be answered and assist you. Thank you for watching. And see you guys in the next videos.